Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Life of Pyramids. So in this video today we are going to see what is crash cart and why it is important and why do we use it and what are its advantages and how can we uh, deal with it. So let's see the video. What is crash cart? Which is like used in emergency. It'll have all the like patient has crashed and he's having a breathing issue. So ambu bag will come in handy. It is there in the all the emergency trucks. Not all the equipment required for the intubation and thing. What do you mean by crash patient? RT a patient, road traffic accident, like in which the MI patient got accidented and have a difficulty in intubation, like breathing. For that thing, it will have all the equipment required for the intubation. And all MI patient like, uh, will crash, is it? No, like if he is having a proper heart block, so to start it will give adrenaline. And all, so like all after the CPR. See, crash cart is opened only in emergency. What emergencies? What are the emergencies? Accident. Okay. Like can be accidents. Burning cases. Like, so accidents need crash cart. Be mm. open then. Okay. In severe head injuries, maybe. Burning. Emergencies when the patient is unresponsive. When patient has what else? As severe breathing difficulty. Patient has an arrest. Any uh, cardiorespiratory arrest. That is when we open this. Not all emergencies will be open the crash card. There are so many emergencies. Accident, not everybody will need this uh, card to be opened. If the patient has a cardiorespiratory arrest. Okay. Or when you uh, have when you have a planned intubation, then you can open this. Otherwise, it's always opened. Why it is crash card? It is because when the patient has crashed suddenly, mm. when the patient is arrested, when the patient is going to arrest, mm. it is very really open. Because there are so uh, protocols to open this, because all the um, high alert drugs will be here, all the all medications which are in this, we cannot keep it in the open, in the regular uh, uh, medication, medication uh, this one, char, uh, what you say, that would be a trolley. Okay. Okay, bye. Because these are all emergency drugs. No, why you can't keep it in the open? It can damage. Misuse? Yes, it can be misused. Because there are anesthetic drugs. Mm -hmm. Sedations. And, yeah, there are uh, some sedatives in this. Uh, anesthetic drugs. And also uh, uh, like morphine. Mm -hmm. All those we will be mm -hmm. using. So those can be misused. Find uh, morphine. Yes. Okay. I will not talk in detail about the drugs part and all because all those things you will uh, learn in theory. Yes ma'am. So this is about crash card. We open it when the patient has crashed. So what all the, uh, when a patient has crashed, what all, you see the practical part also like um, when a patient are, uh, crashes, you go and see the patient. Hmm. I mean are you entitled to do all that? No. Nothing. We like if the doctor is not there then we can like we are said that we can see if he's uh, breathing is so, proper yeah that's what i wanted to know the bls training you have to take right okay, yeah. yes yes, yes. yes ma'am so you go see the patient is uh, awake or not trying yeah. to wake him all yes. that you know yes. be, uh, bls mm. so once you see the patient is unresponsive then you would quote the mm. uh, code blue will be activated and that's when this will be opened mm. okay so once you've done all the bls thing patient is still not uh, awake there is no pulse you do all that cpr the first part of i mean the bls thing is done then you go for the next uh, step acls that's when this laryngoscope it, i mean intubation the scopes everything will come into use so what is this uh, you are seeing the laryngoscopes laryngoscope you have not seen first time you are seeing this is the first time okay. <laughs> 
So what is a laryngoscope? Like it is, it is used, used to keep the ET tube uh. to open the uh, airway and insert the tube. tube. Yeah, fine. So it is in uh, it is used mainly for airway securing the airway yes. intubation basically because the patient is not breathing. That is why you do intubation. For intubation, the main thing you need is the laryngoscope. Then the handle bag. bag. No, endotracheal tube. Then, how do you open the this? Uh, uh, how do you? Okay, I have to tell you the part of the scope. The handle hmm. and the scope. Hmm. So you'll have this handle, and this is. There are different sizes in this uh, blade. This is called as the blade. blade. Okay. So there are different sizes depending on the patient. You usually we usually assess the patient hmm. when we are doing an elective intubation, and then we. Take these blades. Hmm. We'll decide which blade we have to use. Hmm. In crash intubation, even then we will know which we would have assessed, and we'll know which uh, blade we have to use. Hmm. Okay. And so there are two sets actually: adult and pediatric. Okay. Okay. So, uh, this is pediatric. Hmm. So the blade size changes. Mm. Pediatrics, I will not tell you because I don't uh, do pediatric uh, interventions, intubations. Hardly, only very severe. When there's no one, only then we go. Otherwise, we are going to adult. Mm. Can see even there there are sizes yes, i don't know about these sizes so i will not tell you about the pediatric ones mm -hmm. there is mm, those tubes or not they just open all this this mm, open this open this section For intubation, as I told you, we need the laryngoscope and the tube. Then oxygen. Yes. Oxygen port should be there. And the, what is this called? And and the the what are the, the parts? That's the mouthpiece where you have to keep it on your face without any gap so that the oxygen doesn't escape and uh, goes into the patient. And this we have to continue inflating so the person's oxygen is like circulation is proper and doesn't stop. The handle. Yes. Okay, so how do you intubate when the patient has crashed? Uh, we do the chin tilt. Accident. Yes, oh, you know about this. Uh, yeah. Chin yeah. tilt and head lift you have to do. So and uh, one patient has come RTA. Hmm. Okay. Some head injury. Hmm. So, which method you do? Jaw thrust. Why? Because uh, he might have injury here or his jaw might be locked due to the hmm. accident. Hmm. So, we have to do the jaw thrust so that it uh, opens the airway and we can intubate the patient. Hmm. And what happens to the sp and, uh, spine in that case? Why only for uh, facial injury are you talking? They can have spinal injuries. When we extend the neck, what happens to the spine? Pressures. So what will happen? The patient gets paralyzed. Okay. So head injury, whenever there is a head injury, we cannot extend the spine. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Mm -hmm. Any uh, uh, RTA, always if there is a head injury, we always suspect a spinal, uh, mm -hmm. spinal injury, the neck injury as well. Mm -hmm. So. Anywhere on the road, even on the road, if you see somebody with an accident, don't try to mm. just lift the patient with the head hanging and all mm. that. You're causing more harm than doing any good. Yes. So we should always secure the neck. Mm. That is why we shouldn't do the, uh, we can't extend the neck and intubate. Mm. Otherwise, we usually extend the neck. And what are the, this one? Where do you do the uh, jaw thrust and uh, this one? In the chin lift, chin lift, chin Yeah, tell me. She told one, no? Yeah. The other one? In the person, like... Uh, hmm? 
Boma? You were answering, no, tell the other one. For Jothra's. Mm. Oh, yeah, if you have any like conditions where you have like microglossia you have or any other um, menu, sorry, mandible or maxillary traumas you have, there you will do the jaw thrust. And for that, what do you do? We use our hand, uh, index and thumb finger, we have to put it here and lock it so the jaw doesn't close again. Mm -hmm. uh, so the incubation is made easy. Mm -hmm. And before that, what do you do? Head injury? Head injury, we don't uh, lift the neck so that uh, the... No, no, all that is done. After that, you are about to incubate the patient. So before that, what do you do? Chin tilt. Before intubation, you have told all this. Uh -huh. uh, you have checked the spine, everything. Mm. You are you are going to intubate. Mm. Before that, what do you do? See the malampati score. Before that, no. you see if there is anything in the mouth. Huh. Okay. Bleeding Blockage or something. Any, uh, the tongue would have fallen back. Huh. So some ble blood clot. All that airway has to be, that okay. has to be uh, cleaned and secured. You have to open up the uh, oral cavity. Okay. Okay, actually this is not, these things are not required, I'm just telling you, because this is how we go systematically. Mm -hmm. So, I will go straight away with the... So, all of you see, mm -hmm. hold yeah. it and see. All of you take. There's a number written, no? Okay. Um, my three. That's my three. Three. Mm. What is that number? That's why I gave it, see all of you, see. Closely you see all of you. What is that? It's according oh, to the size, size I guess. Size. This is the bigger than before this and the Mac one. Mm. Like, this is Mac 4. Mac, yeah. So. Different age. Huh? Mm. Maybe? Mac it has back Mac 4. Mac 4 is there. What is written here? Mac 3. This? Mac 4. And that? Mac 2. So, what does that mean? So, this is smaller one. Huh? Is this smaller one? You can't tell a small, big, medium. That is, those are the sizes 2, 3, and 4 blade sizes. Mm. Okay. Mm. So, it is not like medium, large, small. Mm. It is not your. It is always in sizes. Here, the intubation set. Everything will be in sizes. Even the tubes are all in size. Mm. Pediatric also there are sizes, but I will not talk about the pediatric because I am not very confident. Mm. We don't do pediatric mm. intubations. So once, always once you, uh, we are, we should be always ready for intubation. This set should always be ready. Mm. So every day whoever comes for duty, the first thing they do is they check for the battery status. Mm. They open it and see if the battery, the cell is there or not. Mm. Then, and who are, the crash cart has uh, the especially the, though this is not open, if it is locked, this scope has to be checked every day. Mm. Why? Because if there is no light, then we will lose the patient because we can't intubate without mm. this mm. light. Yes. Okay. Can you see here? This yes, ma'am. Light. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You mm. can hold it and see if you want. That. Mm. Okay, that is the light source. So, you can see a bridge here. Mm -hmm. Can you see also? Yes, ma'am. And you can see one protrusion here. Mm, yes, ma'am. You can hold it. Hold it. Take that also. All of you can see. There is a protrusion here. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And there is one. Um, uh, what to say, this steel, uh, this some small protrusion here as well mm. and you can see some protrusions here. Mm. This has to sit on this. Okay. That is how, that is when it will be uh, okay. sealed properly and that is when the, the, this light will on. Okay. If this is not kept properly then you do things in a hurry that will not work you have to be calm whenever the, a patient crashes okay because this will be handled by one of you mm. in an emergency if you can you have to keep this ready and give it to the doctor so you should be calm don't panic see there is one opening here mm. and this is the bridge mm. this has to go and sit into this okay mm. so it is very simple it is like a hinged uh, lock Oh. Put it like this and oh. the light. Okay. See? 
it has to sit if you are in your scared and you try to do this 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 it will not work mm -hmm. and you try to put it like this no mm -hmm. in fact you are uh, damaging this this mm -hmm. okay so you should know how first you should know these things in a an emergency or you'll be so uh, like jumping on things you will uh, I mean, everybody will be so tensed at that time. You know it has to be in this way, but in in that tension, you usually have seen people, they try to put like this, this, this. In that process, time is gone and mm. the doctor gets irritated and they'll start screaming. Mm. So you all can try. See, it is very simple. Mm. This has to go in and this entire thing will fit into this cavity. Okay, mm. just close it. It's very easy. Very easy. Mm. Right on. And we will have an adjust here, which is the latest one. Uh, the other uh, scopes, you can increase or decrease the light intensity. You have a control here. No. All of you can try. And even while removing, it is very easy. Don't do like oh, mm -hmm. Don't like try to oh, you will break the scope mm -hmm. and damage the scope. All of you can try. You keep your book here. Each one of you try. Don't uh, drop the scope. If that uh, light is gone, then it, it, you can't use it. it. It looks difficult, but it's very simple. Open it. You have to just slide it, okay? See, it's very easy. Just go. Okay. Moving also, just miles. Just very little, if you slide, it will come out, okay? Open. Keep all your books. Yeah, make yourself comfortable. Always see. See, this, uh, hmm? this is so big and this cavity is there. This goes into this cavity. This big size is there no this the other uh, okay you want to try with the other one okay Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.